Here is the man you've been waiting for. Active Fireball. Hello, my good peeps. I am so, so fucking tired. I can probably tell because I haven't shaved today. Literally woke up at like 8.06. I really need to stop playing Factorio before I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I, I need to stop playing Victorio, guys, before I go to bed. I sure am Viking. Love you. Alright. Alright, so where are we? We are in the ghost ship. Last episode, the ghost ship decided to ram us. Well, a ghost ship in a way that it's like... It's a physical ship that ran into us that is protected by ghosts. So what are we doing now? We have the password 0468 and we have a chest that has three numbers on it. We need to figure out what numbers go on the chest. However, uh, we don't know what numbers go on the chest. Well, we don't know what order the numbers go on the chest. And I don't want to figure out <clears throat> what combination of those three numbers go on the chest. And this time it was like, oh yeah, we need to find, so I'm trying to find to see if there's maybe a place where I can go that says, oh yeah, the numbers, these are actually the numbers in what order they are in. Because I don't want to try all the combinations. I could if I have to, but I just don't. Although considering I keep getting these fucking additions wrong. Yes. I just might have to. Oh, that was off. So, yeah. I slept in a bit too much. That's fine. I love you. I love you all, guys. One, two, three, four. Die. Hard blade. Oh, why aren't you doing that? Wisps are going to attack. I also, also need my people to level up. So I can be stronger because they are weak as fuck. And I know there's gonna be a boss coming somewhere. Yes. Uh, yep. I know Factorio's going great. I know. I like Victoria. It's one of the. It's it's a very. It's a game that I've recently been like, oh my god, I need to do this and this and this on. And I was thinking about it before I went to bed, and I was thinking about it before I started, and I was like, oh, I can do this and I can do this. It's really interesting that that game has had that kind of effect on me. I have not had that effect. I have not had the anticipatory effect of a game on me in a very long time. Are you still locked? Okay, you're still locked. That's cool. Alright, that's fine. We might just go to the chest room and I'll just try all the different ass combinations of 0468. Or I can go back to the room where I got the password and that might have something. So, if I'm attacking the middle person, the middle person. So let's take the little wisp first. One, two, three, four, that was off. Sorry, I sneezed. Attack the will o wisp because we have enough attack to kill it. There's one way. Great. Like everybody fucking else. Although I, I don't know, like I like how I have the high defense, but. I might just switch them to have more attack, because they are not dying. Yes. One. So, hi Lucy, good morning! Come here! One. Wow. Go me. Hi! Hi, baby girl! Good morning, did you sleep well? Did you sleep like a good dog, huh? I love you. Oh, my dog, yes. Dog oh, yeah, I don't know if you guys can give me a cure dog. Yes. Oh my god, I'm really bad at this game. Oh, 
why am I so bad at this? Come on. Oh shit! Fucking duck, I forgot about that. Yo, Shoreline Viking. So yesterday, when I was uh, doing that programming guy, I was looking at stuff for the 68k assembler. And I found a website that said, their assembler and emulator is Y2K compliant. That was the best shit in the world. A website that's like, it's Y2K compliant. It's awesome. All right. <clears throat> So my nose being stupid and they shave and everything it's cold in here. Fuck everything. Yup. Alright. So can I go into the same place? Can't go that way. I was there. Alright. Need to get through all these battles. All the battles. Oh, hey, death. Fuck you, death. Let's kill you before you kill me. One, two, three, and a four. All right. Ooh, oh, hey, just one attack. That worked. Cool. Rose. Missed. That's cool. Man, I keep having to do this go. I mean, I guess they do see an unshaven dude playing the game, so it makes sense. I don't know what I would do if I found an unshaven dude playing the game, so. Alright, everyone, it is five minutes past the half hour. <coughs> and you all know what that means. That is time for the first sip of the day. It is the time where we as a community come and do something together. Physically, so we can kind of get that community vibe going. Anyway, take your fry, whiskey, rum, tequila, vodka, energy, and coffee, water, tea, hot cocoa, juice, milk, whiskey, bourbon, something you want to take. Take something you want to take. Let's just, let's just cheers, you know? Anyway, everyone, cheers! for being live another day. Also, 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 now that my body is literally like, oh, you drank some caffeine, and you know, even though it hasn't been digested yet or gone into my bloodstream at all. That voice introduction was done by Kim Ariko, K-I-M-R-E-I-K-O. She is a voice actor. If you would like to use her voice on your next project, go ahead and contact her on Fiverr. If you are watching this stream at the moment, you can find her in the link below. Um, she's awesome. If not, you can just find her on Fiverr. Aha! All right, those are the other skeletons. I need to fight. Mm. It's more as it's warm. But man, I made some weak ass coffee. Just fine. Oh, hey! What's up, Purple Bro? Magic Magician Bog. Bogey? Alright, well, that's not Magician Bro. Fine! Haha! Man, if you're attacking. Bone throw. Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> oh. Die. Hard blade. blade. That sounds really good. Right now. Yeah, Victoria's going great. I don't know. I like talking about things for It's really good. Pursuit! 
Okay, so one other person. Hopefully you don't counter lock one. No, fuck. You do counter. God, I'm bad at this. Okay. Man, too bad David's not here. Look at David. I actually totally thought he was gonna be here. One. Two. Got a lot of HP. <clears throat> I kinda wanna buy the prima official guide for living. Okay. One. No, I need to stop doing that! <laughs> I need to pay attention, I can't press both buttons at the same time. That's fine, just keep attacking the dart. There we go. Thank you. Let me see my sweetie that laid in the hospital since I need to take a shower. Okay. <coughs> You're dead. Ran away. What's in here? Nothing? Oh, where did you run away to? Dude, where did you run away to? Oh. Okay, you're searching for the same thing. Zero, four. Wait, zero, two? Four. Zero two four nine. What the hell? They changed the code on me. What's the code now? Zero two four. Okay, what happens if I accidentally come back? Because you guys changed the fucking code on me. How dare you change the code on me, bastards. Are you 0249 again? Because you were 0469. 0... 2... Change the code on me, so screw you. Screw you and your ghost ship. I don't need your ghost ship. Who says I need your ghost ship, guys? Fuck. I'm starting to get out of the battle. Okay, more fighting. Which I guess is good, because <clears throat> I need the whisk, because I need the experience, and I need to also not miss. That'd be great. Alright, what is this gonna die soon? Yep. One, two, three, and four. Crush that. I mean, it sounds better than volcano, so I'm gonna take that. Bone throw. Congo, attack you. Sweet. You can still kill on me. Stop attacking Rose, damn it. No, wrong person. Shit. Oh, come on, guys. Come on. Yes. One. That was my fault. Oh my god. I don't know, Factoria's great so far. I really get, I really like, I don't know, I'm just really getting into Factorio right now. I was unex, I thought I would, I thought I played once and okay, this is fun and then stop. One, two, three. It's like, I have the automation going, and then I also have the automation to fuel my stone thingies, so you can make the iron plates and copper plates. However, because I'm playing ahead, I kind of have a giant rigmarole of your belt. Yes. But it's fine. It's my creation. <coughs> but I was like, 
I'm making way too many copper plates, and I'm making way too many iron wheels. Or, uh, yeah, gear wheels. So it's like, alright, now I need a way to, like... Yeah, you load up, thank you. A way to, like, use them faster. And I'm like, why do I need to put them in boxes? I can just have them, like, on an assembly line on a conveyor belt, and then just have my inserters pick from them. I was like, oh, I can totally do that. Use it. Oh, no. Healing breeze. Oh, hey! Albert has 1,002 HP! Fancy. Alright, go up here. Let's go heal and buy some items. Uh. <clears throat> Let's go heal. Rest. Unless, of course, like... Hmm. That sounded weird. Unless, of course, like, the items that I get from Ents from uh, buying items at the moment, unless those are like, alright, we need you to use these ca this character today. Which might be a thing. Let's save. Oh right, Shoreline Vikings visiting day, which means I can give you my PSP and Crimson Gem Saga so you can see how much that game sucks. Yeah. You got the shit. I wonder if there's any Stardust in the ghost ship that I'm gonna miss, because it's maybe gonna go away when I'm done with the game. I go into here. not do anything. So that's not gonna work. Nine more times! I didn't know I had a time limit. Okay. Alright, what happens if I find another door? Shall we? Because what the hell is the puzzle on this thing, man? There. I need to go into? No, there's not. I went into all the doors. I won't see him going in the middle one now. Oh, there shouldn't be. Where do I go? I don't like look up what the freaking thing is. Because he didn't run away this time. Oh, the middle door is open. Is that the middle door? The middle door looks like it's open, guys. Oh, oh, I hit it. Whatever! Battle time! Aren't you all happy for me? We get to do more battles. Maybe since Rose is leveled up, maybe her attack power. I don't know, like, I have noticed in some RPGs, it's like, in some turn based battles, where once you level up, to once you level up past a certain, certain threshold, like, you became so much stronger. Hard blade. There. Don't think this is true, though. Alright, attack the skeleton. You should just deal with it. So all of you. See? One turn kill. Rose and Dard, why can't you just do one turn kills? Why is that so hard? Yes. Why is that so hard? You know, man. Attack, Congo! Attack with. Dude, come on! Well, I mean, my, the record I have is three misses in a row. So. Hopefully, I don't get that. Yes! Good. Although, I did fail that addition, but that's fine. Stop with Rose, where you don't attack. You know, from this angle, it really looks like the lance is infused into Rose's arm. Like, I'm gonna get some of my mugs from work so I can drink those on camera. Hmm. 
Yo, Shoreline Viking, do you know when you're gonna visit my wife in the hospital? Oh, I see, there's just one door. Day. A specific time, I was wondering. Just make sure we're there at the same time. Although we'll probably be there at the same time. Uh, mostly just because I'm there for most of the whole entire day. Unless I, because usually what I do is I'll either be there kind of the whole entire day, like I was yesterday waiting for the doctor, or I'll be there and I'll leave at like one or two and then I'll come back at like yes. late at night before it gets <laughs> Eleven to noonish. I should be there. Yeah, I'll be there. Although I do have to take a shower after this because I woke up so damn late. So I'll be. I don't know. I'll be there in ten four years though. Thank you. So how is the jet lag? Are you like uber tired? Because I know you just came from out of country. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so I guess you just woke up there on 5.30. Wow, that's early. Okay. All right, let's start going to here. Are there any skeletons in here? No, because I already beat those. So those, the only skeleton is that one. Did, 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 did it change? Fuck that. All right, we're gonna see if the code changed one more time. Cause I have two codes now, which is uber annoying. Maybe it changes when I kill one of the skeleton baddies things, but I also, oh right, I killed the magical goo guy. So he's gonna not even show up anymore. Darts. Attack the will wisp Yes! I like how, like, I don't know. I like how Drachma... <coughs> in, um... <coughs> I like how Drachma in Skies of Arcade is like, Yo, Belize, we just killed you and you're on the desert. Um, but I just took your ship. And I took... I dismantled the engine put in my ship. To, like, five tops. Hitting spots. Drachma is such a badass in Skies of Arcade, yeah. Damn it! That's fine. I'll live. We'll see if the yeah, we'll password changed. I think. 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 Um. I think what I really should have done is go find the password. Before, uh, before and after I killed each skeleton area thing because the password changed and I think basically um, With the passwords have changed Yeah, I'd be able to figure out what the password was however Because not I really can't figure out what the puzzle is so basically I think what I need what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the inn and I'm going to save and then from no Ah. And then from there, I'm just gonna go to the chest with the password and fail nine times and just, I don't know, see what happens. I guess you could also just look up the password too. That's no fun. Cinderella, what's up? 
Your Majesty. I almost called you bro. One, two, three. Well, I probably will. So I attacked the wrong person. Fuck duck. I probably will keep humming just because I'm quite tough. I, I am. I, I'm. Oh, you're fine with bro. What's up, bro? Just because I'm tired. I'm like one of those kids who stays up too long playing video games. Cause it's like, I have to, I have this week off, but I'm also seeing te uh, my wife. I, I already said her name on the stream, whatever. I've seen my wife in the hospital, and then I get back. And, uh, and then I get back, and then I play Factorio. And then it's like 12.30, I'm like, shit, I need to go to bed. Damn it. One, two, three, yeah. I'm tired, which is fine, whatever. I have viewers, god damn it! But they don't give a shit I'm tired, I bet they do. Anyway, viewers, if I offended you, I'm sorry. I need lurkers as well. You're gonna be there today as well. Well, Tier wife's dad was like, I'm gonna come with a brother. So it might be a crowded room in the hospital today if y'all show up at the same time. But it'll be fun to see y'all. So let's go save, heal, and then attempt this puzzle that I don't know the answer to. I think that'd be great. What's up, Captain? I don't know. Maybe I talked to you. Maybe you know something that I don't know. Oh, what I should do is find my stream from yesterday. What day is today? Right, today's Tuesday, right? I need to leave early, because I need to leave for Code and Caffeine anyway. God, I already have this week off, and I'm already freaking everything. No, I don't want to... No, 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 do nothing. I'm already freaking... No! Damn it, do nothing! Come on. Thank you. Let's save, and then fail the puzzle nine more times. Considering that the password changed... I'm assuming I need to get all the it all the password changes that they give me, and from there I can deduce what the password is for this chest. But because I didn't, and screw you, game, for making it so I have to know that information. What is what this game? This game is the Legend of Dragoon. This game is Legend of Dragoon. This is an RPG released by somebody. I can't tell. In like 19... I think this is a first party game. Um, yeah, it's Sony. So yeah, this is, this is the Legend of Dragoon. Um, yeah, it is old. It was made in 1999 for the PlayStation. <coughs> I bought the game... Um, actually at the game store, Shoreline Viking and I went to in Tacoma. Uh, but I bought it when I was there with my wife on our anniversary trip. Um, and so... I need to get through all the games I bought. So that's what this stream is for. Alright. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's fail this. Nope, let's fail it. Uh, I, I usually drink coffee anyway, but I mean, I, yeah, to drink coffee, yeah. <clears throat> I like coffee, coffee's good. However, I'm also purposely making my coffee a bit weaker because I don't want to have a giant ass dependency on coffee. Yes. Alright, attack me. Attack me, Foos. Oh, that's weird. The laughing skeleton in the background, foreground. That's crazy weird. Good job, Gate. You're freaking me the fuck out. Oh, 
But yeah, if any of you want to send me some mugs, I'll totally drink them on camera. I'll drink with the mugs on camera. I will not drink the mugs on camera. I do not want to drink liquefied mugs. Alright, eight. One, two. I didn't fuck you. I pressed the O button, damn it. One, two. Hey. Go! Ha! 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 Just wait till you see Legend of Ligaya. I already leveled up. Okay. <coughs> now that I killed everyone. Oh. Yeah? Come on. Wait, how were you... <coughs> How did you manage to play a PlayStation but not know what a Dreamcast was? The Dreamcast came out a year after Spyro came out. Cinderella, you confuse me. Alright, so... Oh, so I have to know what it is. Do I literally have to know what it is? If I do have to figure out, if I do have to literally figure out the password, okay, I'm gonna go there one more time to try to figure it out. If I can't figure out this damn password, I'm gonna look it up. Because, screw this. I don't wanna keep, cause yeah, if, if I fail it. Ugh. Dude! I don't know. I mean, they had commercials for it on the TV. Alright, are you giving me the same thing? One. Two. Because the Xbox wasn't out yet. One, two, three, eight. Alright. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look this up. Fuck this shit. Spyro was the only thing in my mind when I was little with no friends. That makes sense. I was little with no friends for a little bit. If you get one or more digits correct, you'll see a dot 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 message. If you don't get in or I'll just tell you how many tries you ever made. Oh, <clears throat> so if you only guess one digit and get a dot 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 message, you'll know without a doubt the first digit is. Zero, zero, one, two.
Okay. I get it. So we have a stupid thing here. Okay, FAQs. Excuse me. So it seems like I just have to guess at it, but with logic. Uh, phantom ship. Okay, unlock the last fight. Hold on, this is all so cute. What is? This may actually be quite to find my first way, unfortunate loss. If you switched out, uh, da Um, summon four gods and crush dance on it. Oh, Zuzian Shaman's very strong, so magical die. Skeletons will have long. Oh, so now the captain is the captain cabins. Oh, I'm cute. My wife says it all the time. This just says the captain cabins is unlocked <coughs> after the fight with the magician dude. So I'm just gonna get out of here because I don't want to fight anymore. I'm done with this shit. So I see the chest was just for something cool. I see. So basically, it seems like I would get numbers, and those numbers would be like. Uh, there they would be equal in some way. Whatever. So basically, I have zero four six eight zero two four nine one two three eight, and something else. So basically, I think zero four and eight. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck this. I thought it was acquired, but it's not. So I'm. Hopefully, it's not. That guy. One. Two. Four. Oh, boy, I'm feeling awake now. Much better than I was recently. And I know you guys aren't watching the stream just to watch me. On the just to watch me be on the internet trying to figure this out. More coffee for me. One. Two. Three. That still works, I'm happy. <coughs> yes. One, two, three. Like, if if I had more time, I would totally look up on how to do this thing. <coughs> but it really needs to stop, Jane. I mean I actually find this puzzle worse than the puzzle in Sukiden when you're trying to get the pictures correct in the vampire's castle thing. Fuck that one. All right. Well, then I was wrong. Let's find another one, shall we? I see, so it fills up. Alright, so... Okay, so I don't think getting that chest is required, but... Okay. 
Okay, so it's a mini game. I don't want that. Okay, so I, how do I even get through this? Where else do I have to go? Seriously, where else do I have to go in this place? So, so I can't go to the commander ship yet. I failed that. So basically, so the treasure chest is called this. The treasure chest minigame. And you can get a total of 10 items from it. So to open up, you'll get the item and it'll close again. But you just have to know what the password is. However, I don't want to figure out what the password is. So... Um, I'll try going to go into all the other rooms again. And we'll see what happens. Because I killed the magician dude. So I don't know where else I need to go. One, two, three. Nailed that. Man, if somebody give me a bunch of chicken, see if they can help me. One, two, three. Yay! So excited. I mean, this is this this stream might just entirely be on the ghost ship trying to figure out what the hell to do. Which will be fine. I mean, y'all love y'all love watching me anyway, so. One, two, three, four. Die. <coughs> I'm actually really into this because we're in the teens now. I'm wondering if I'll get to the number of streams as, 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 as I did with Skies of Arcadia. I think I got up to 45 with Skies of Arcadia. It'll be interesting. Okay. So I need to get to the captain's cabin. That's where I need to get to right now. That's what I need. Where is the fucking captain's cabin? Okay, I'm here. Captain's cabin. That person trying to awaken the captain inside, but no matter what, you can't get in. Don't bother him for because the most blue souls is sweet and last and proceed to go down stairs and think into a few foot sound stairs. Follow it down and you'll be in a room that's just full of loose souls. Avoid them by sides of around you. But either way, head to the nearest room. Examine the treasure just right ahead of you, and the pink creature flies out. The bones on the floor then form and become skeletons, the pink creature goes away, leaving us to fight these three skeletons. They're pushovers. Okay. Yes, phone? Probably Sodium is doing stuff. They should die in just a few hits. Anyway, this is just a little over. That's over. Get out of there and go to the room just north and examine this treasure chest. The pink fights you together with two of its skeleton friends. I did that. Okay. This isn't exactly a boss fight. Um. But the magician bogey is very annoying. It can be witch and can use your characters to try to avoid it. So if they if it's on dart or hash shell, focus everything that you have. Oh no, while well, using Sean's very strong smashing, I will die. The skeletons, while left alone, should be absolutely no threat at all. After feeding them, you impossibly wish to switch Sean in for Albert, but if you're ready to go, go to the next room. Examine the treasure chest and we'll start dancing. Follow it, and we have to fight three of these guys. What? Come on. Skeletons, left alone, after beating them, you may possibly wish to switch Sean in for Albert, but if you're ready to go, go to the next room. Examine the treasure chest and it will start dancing. Follow it and we have to fight three of these guys. Okay. Okay, so I'm missing a fight. I'm I am missing a fight. Oh, this is annoying. This phantom ship is annoying. I'm missing a fight. Well, I guess we heal up for free anyway and save. Because <clears throat> why the fuck not? But, alright, so there is, I guess, a healing thing that I missed? Or a battle that I missed? This makes no sense. He's stuck here forever. Just fine, I guess. More experience for me. Yay! More experience for me, guys. Aren't you happy for me? Okay, phantom ship. 
Um, but Spyro is fun. I haven't even played Spyro. Also, Crash Bandicoot. I played Crash Bandicoot 2 a lot with my stepbrother. Okay. Yes, the, yeah, I, I was reading the combination is completely different, but I also read that it's a mini game and it is actually not required. You just get really good items when you do it. Um, so I decided to avoid it. Yes, Spyro is going to be on the Switch soon, and I'm not going to buy it because I'm not going to play it. I mean, you can play it. Spyro is a fun game. See, no one has told me to go to the captain's room yet. You already have Crash for the Switch? I don't. Is that probably I have actually Crash Bandicoot 2 for the PlayStation. I bought it because my step and I played it a lot. We just never really got past it. Um, we were really bad at the game, but we couldn't get really far. But yeah, I played it. And I bought it because I'd like to play it again. No, that's not what I mean. Go back. So I have no chest that stands in. Oh my god, I'm lost. Unless I have to do the chest? That makes no sense. Oh! Hey guys, there's another chest here! God damn it! I found it! I found this other chest. <sighs> Alright, now we can continue the game. <coughs> that took forever. I didn't know you could do that. Bandicoot 1 and 3 as well. It's like, I probably wouldn't play it. I mean, I guess if this stream is for me to get, game, get through games that I own, technically I should play Crash Bandicoot 3, but never thought about it because I just wanted to get through all my RPGs. Also, you know, the secret loves are fun. And so to, uh... Because I knew I wouldn't ever play the game again. So what I did was I actually watched a uh, speedrun of 100% Crash Bandicoot 2. So I would know what all the secrets of all the this look like. Yes, the low tire that you get to ride. Die. I was gonna say like, oh my god, maybe Congo has another edition, but I know he doesn't because he hasn't done it. Yes. One. Two. Three. Four. Hey. Maybe 
dead yet? Why aren't you dead yet? Why do you have so much HP as well? Flowers! At least if they don't flower Kongo, I'm okay with this. One, two. Damn it. Wrong. Alright. Cool. One, two, three, four, three, four. Ugh. One, two, three, four. Die. Hard blade. Hard blade. Bowie. It feels weird playing video games before I shower. It's almost like I feel like I shouldn't play video games right now. So I didn't go to like all my video chores, like just take a shower. It's really weird. Yes. One. Go. Yes. No, nope, they did. No, Congo is stunned now, so you're almost dead though. One, two. Yay! Dude, dude, doubt. Okay. No one leveled up. Now, this should be like, yo, go to the captain's room. Okay. I didn't know you could talk to me. All right, so we are going to go save. Play what? Legend of Dragoon? Or Crash Bandicoot? Or Spyro? Or something else? Or a game I was talking about that I just don't remember what I was talking about. That's an interesting question. Like, I don't think so. Um, like, sure, that would be nice if the graphics are nice and everything, but this is my first time playing this game. Um, so I'm really not attached to this other No, you're not dead yet. That's not good. Yes! Um, like, for example, if Sky's Arcadia, I would love it if they remastered that game and added even more content, because I'm good at that game. I know a lot of that game already. I can 100% that game. Um, I like that game. But since I haven't played this the first time, I don't really care if it's remastered or not, because I'm fine how it is. I'm fine with these graphics. You know, I'm fine with the story, I'm fine with everything. Right now, at the moment, they like added more to it. I'm like, I don't know but what you added at all because I've never played this game before. But that's actually an interesting thing is like, would I want a game to be remastered even if I've never played it before? That's actually a really interesting concept and actually a great question to explore. But yeah, at the moment, you know, if they remastered this game, I probably wouldn't play it. The only time I would play it if they did remaster it would be if, like, I hadn't played this game yet. And they're like, oh, BT Dub, there's a remaster. I'm like, okay, then I'll play it. I'll play the remaster. Um, but if they did that, I'd probably go online. People are like, oh my god, I played the remaster. And, like, they, they changed so much of the story. They did this, they did this, or they did this. Then I probably would it. It just depends. For example, like, when I was in uh, Tacoma three years ago, I bought uh, Final Fantasy XII for the PlayStation 2, but I bought, like, the collector's edition because it was out, because I was able to buy it. And then, last year, when I was in Tacoma again, there was the remake for Final Fantasy XII on the PS4. I'm like, all right, let's buy it. Because I read a lot, I'm like, they're like, the PS4 makes the game better, um, it makes the game easier to play, you know, if the graphics are updated, all this other stuff. I'm like, okay, if that's the reason why, yeah, I'll totally buy it. 
Um, so yeah, if I hadn't played it yet, I wouldn't. But at the moment as well, considering I don't want to play the game again, right now I wouldn't play it. No, I'll see what happens when I finish the game. But I don't think so far this might be a game that I, might, that I will come back to in the case remaster. Additionally, um, streaming this game and talking to everyone here does take a bit out of my experience with the game. I'm not saying you guys are bad or anything like that. I enjoy doing this and I enjoy talking to you all. One second. One. Two. I enjoy talking to you all, but... I can't be fully in the game because I'm watching chat and I'm talking to you all. So, um, I am taking, uh, there's some part of the game that I am missing, the deep, like, connection from streaming it, which is fine, because I'm usually quiet. I usually try to do this on the talk when there's text going on. So I can be, like, really kind of connect with the game and really understand what's going on in the story thus so far. So, I guess the ultimate answer would be no. I wouldn't. I know that was a really long way to get to know. Yes. Oh, why aren't you dead yet? Alright. Pursuit! Pursuit! I know this, we're gonna take a shower first and then we can go to walk, okay, baby girl? God, only 3,000 gold, man. Ah, this way. Where are you going, Blue, blue Wisp? Hey, the door's open now. Hell yeah. Oh, I tried. I failed that really horribly. Who am I gonna attack him now? Skeleton dude! I can kill you with Congo. Congo can I can kill that one shot everyone here. Although that depends if I could be a or not. Skeleton. Yay! <clears throat> so the question is, why was the captain in the chest in the first place? Yes. One, two, three. No, I got that wrong. Damn it. I like how on the back of the Legend of Dragoon box it actually says like how many people were involved with the development of this game. To be like, a lot of people were in development of this game, so you should buy it. Maybe it's like to guilt trip people into buying it. It close on us. Look at those faces. Oh, it has the weird music. Oh, we hear the black monster again.
No, 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 no. The Black Monster has his own reason for killing people. Come on, this is an epic RJRPG. He has his own reasons for killing people, Dark. Come on. Don't be so naive. Key of Phantom Ship. Oh, cool, we got the key, wonderful. Well, then we can go save and quit, and then we can probably most likely fight the boss. Oh, come on! I could have avoided that! Bastard. Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, and a five. Oh, you killed someone! Sweet! Alright, so let's kill, let's dart attack death. One, two, three. Because you know, I can kill death. I'm very happy. Got only 3,974 gold. God, you don't gain gold that fast in this game. Alright. So that's the captain's area. So we have the key to the captain. Key to something that's somewhere. Hey, it's the knights. Oh! Oh! Oh, is she the black monster? Is she the black monster? Is this foreshadowing? Oh, is it foreshadowing? Because they were attacking Rose. I think that's what it is. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. All right. Let's heal and save. That's what's happening. Rose is connected to the black monster. Alright everyone, I am going to end the stream here. Lurkers, thank you for lurking. Chatters, thank you for chatting. I appreciate all of you. Viewers, thank you for viewing. It's been fun, it's been great. So what we got done this episode was a lot of fights on the ghost ship. We finally got through the ghost ship. So tomorrow, what you can expect is probably the boss of the ghost ship and then we'll continue making our way to fight, to follow the wingling. Anyway, it's great. Oh. Um, also, Shoreline Viking and Cinderella. I think you'll like this. So, um, I'm following someone. His name is Lethargic Waldo, and he has an emoticon of the Mega Man from Mega Man EXE dabbing. And I got a sticker. And this is what it looks like. Pretty damn cool. I love it. I thought you guys would enjoy it, too. Anyway, so we are going to be hosting probably Sodin. Mostly just because... He's the only one online? Is he not online? Oh my god, it's like... Do no one I know is online right now. We're not gonna host anyone. Alright everyone, love you all. Thank you so much for watching and or lurking, and I will see you all tomorrow.